Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. Today I wanted to talk about a recent piece of video that's come out. It's called Trapper Records Video of Bigfoot. Now I'm sure if you've been keeping up to date on your Bigfoot footage, you've heard of this video published on Sunny Vader's YouTube channel on June 4th. So it's very recent. I've been getting a lot of requests about this piece of footage, you know, asking me to share my thoughts on it. And... I'm going to be the party pooper on this one, I'm sorry, but I do believe this is a hoax, I don't think it's real, and I'll explain why I think that. There's a lot of comments on the video out from people who believe that it's legitimate, and it bothers me, and it's not, it's not anything like, I'm jealous that this guy has a piece of Bigfoot footage, I really don't care. It looks really stupid to me, it, I'm going to be honest, I think it looks dumb compared to, like, there's so many other pieces of Bigfoot footage out there that I think are half decent and could potentially be real, and this is not one of them. You know, you just take one good look at this thing's face, it's the dumbest Bigfoot hoax I've ever seen. It goes against basically every eyewitness account that I've ever heard and, you know, every piece of half decent footage I've ever seen. You know, it, it looks really funny. It looks very similar to a Halloween mask I found on Amazon. You know, here's a picture of that. It, it, do, it looks like a gorilla mask covered in some sort of wig. And the head, it looks absolutely ridiculous. You know, again, we don't see... Like, the clip is very short. We don't see what happened prior to this. We don't see what happened after because he ran away and turned the camera off you know, right after he started running. And you know, some people say they can see eye shine. Well, that's possible through a mask as well. If there's eye holes, you know, you can see eye shine. When this footage first came out, there was a video on his channel that had nothing to do with Bigfoot. He had four videos on there and he still has four videos now, but he swapped one out. He took away one video, which was just some person messing around on, a, on an off-road vehicle on an ATV and it had nothing to do with the rest of the videos. His first video on his channel is called Bigfoot Attack in the Canadian Wilderness Part 1. And the way it's filmed is like a found footage movie. That came out five years ago, 2013. His second video is titled Bigfoot Attack Part 2. Came out five years later. It came out this year, back in April, April 6th. And the description says, Frank Wildchild escapes into the dark woods after enduring an attack from a hostile Bigfoot in the Canadian wilderness near Nordic, Alberta, where he was left for dead in a remote shelter. Why is there a five-year gap? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to come out and say that everything on this channel is a bunch of bullshit. If you take the part one video and the part two video, man, the production value and the creepiness, though, like, that would have made a really good found footage movie. Like, make a couple more parts, put it all together as a, a feature-length film, and put it on Netflix. Oh yeah, they'd probably buy it. It looks that good. You know, all the, the creepy animal parts strung up in the trees. You can see at the end of the part two video, there's a, what appears to be a Bigfoot creature smashing a stick on the ground. And to me, it looks like a guy in a ghillie suit. All the tree breaks in that area, you can see, are pretty much waist height. They're not very high at all. Anyways, back to the Halloween mask video. This is very inconsistent with everything we think we know about Bigfoot. There's not there's no information about this guy either. Sonny Vader. Like no there's nothing about him at all. And you can't find anything about these characters in these videos either. If you guys think I'm wrong for believing this is a hoax, then by all means leave comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think about it. I'm just giving my two cents, which, you know, might not even be worth two cents to you, but... To me, like, even Todd Standing's footage looks better than this, and I'm not even gonna start talking about what I think of Todd Standing's videos. We all know the Nordic area is popular for Bigfoot, it's apparently a Bigfoot hotspot, there's a tree structure site, the Alberta Habituation site. This though appears to me to be a couple people or a person taking advantage of that information. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching this episode of Mountain Beast Mysteries.